Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will go through some of the questions which can be asked when you are attending the interview specific to API or backend testing. And we will include some questions related to rest assured also in that. Okay. So uh, I have created this and I have created this in my blog, but I have took a reference from many of the good website and many of the good blogs which I can see on the internet also. So we will just go through that one by one. All right. I will keep the reference of this blog in my uh, description section of the video. Okay. All right. So the first question is what is API? So as per definition that uh, API stands for application programming interface in a software intermediary that enables two applications to communicate with each other. It comprises number of subroutines, definition, logs, tools for creating application software. Okay. And some examples are given like Google Map API, Amazon, Twitter API, YouTube API. Okay. So if you want to understand that what exactly the API is, so just let me show you. So see what happened that uh, let's say when we are working on any any project or when we have particular application this is my application let's say this is my mobile application right uh, give it any name let's assume this is my paytm application okay so uh, let me call this as client okay all right so this is our client application and uh, now we will create uh, some more uh, you know our server also here so just give me a moment all right it's freezing up just a moment let it come So this is our client application. It can be, you know, on the web or it can be on the mobile or it can be, you know, uh, on your desktop. So it can be, you can assume this is any application here. And here, if I see there is one more box I can create, let's call it as server. Okay, so this is our server. Okay, this is my server. Okay, and uh, let me create one more for DB. All right, so my server is interacting with my DB and let's say it is trying to, you know, store something and gather something from the DB. All right, and my client is interacting with server. All right, so this is how normally all the application works in a, in a two-tier architecture. My client is interacting with server, server is interacting with client, and if something has to be read, then if DB, or there may be, you know, other third parties also available uh, through which my server is interacting. Okay, it, I'll just keep it as third party. All right, so third party application. All right, so my server is dealing with that also. All right, so what happened that, uh, okay, so see, this is client, let's say this is a mobile client, but it might possible that if it's assumed that it is a Paytm application, there can be a web part also of this client, right? So there can be one more client and let me call it as client web, All right? Client web, all right? And this client is also interacting with my server okay and it is possible that the client i am working right now like the mobile it because it's a paytm uh, application and let's say you i have developed this in the android okay all right and uh, for the website i have developed my website in the javascript okay and uh, the server code which is written assume that it is it is written in java okay so if you see here and uh, assume that the third party is written in python okay so the code written for the third party is in python or maybe you know take ruby all right so if you see here there are different uh, different languages which is used on everywhere like on the client we have used android on the web we have used javascript on server we use java and then third party we have used here uh, ruby 
okay so what exactly api means so api means that it provide you an interface okay let me just create that interface for you okay api means it provide you the interface through which my client and server can talk to each other without worrying about what technology has been used okay so this is an interface through which my client can talk to my server and how it happens so it happens through this way okay so here all right and let me make this also all right see what happened that this client is interacting with my server so it requests something and it is getting something from the server and it happens through the api only okay so that's the reason we have said that in our questions that api is a application programming interface and it is a software that enable two application to communicate with each other okay and uh, the api example is google maps api amazing advertising and youtube api so i have just shown you how this application works and what is the advantage of that because there can be you know different uh, languages which has been used but still we can use these apis right we can interact with each other all right so let's go forward and then we can move to this diagram when we need it now what is api testing okay so in modern development world many web applications are designed based on three tier architecture that is presentation tier so this is our presentation tier okay this android client this web javascript is our presentation tier and the business logic which is written in this tier so this is our business logic which we have written okay on that server and the data tier here information that is stored and retrieved from database so this is our data tier okay so this is a three tier architecture which is done and these three uh, three tiers should not know anything about the platform which i have uh, you know told you earlier the structure of each other we can use test the ui and gui testing tool we can test the logic api with the api testing tool okay so what happened normally when you're working manually or when you're working on the selenium if you want to test something you know you have to open the uh, application and then you have to you know send something like put keys send keys and click on the button and on the basis of that you change check the functionality but what happens at the background these applications are interacting with the api and this api is interacting with the server okay so why we have to just you know rely on this uh, front end application we can what we can do directly we can directly create some kind of a framework okay we can create some kind of a framework which can interact with this api okay and it doesn't require any kind of an interface and that framework is already provided to us in the form of rest assured okay so we have one framework that is called rest assured that has already been provided so by using this framework we can directly go ahead and we can hit these apis and can interact with the server and we can do our testing so even if my my client is not created by the development team even before deploying everything and uh, sending everything to the qa server so that qa can test i can still test the code of uh, the server which has been created i can still go ahead and do you know i can give us a request from here and receive a response from your server through this rest assured framework i don't have to wait for this uh, client to be created once my client is created then i can go ahead and again retest some two three scenarios just to make sure the client is working fine but let's say if i have hundred of scenarios i don't have to wait this client to be created for to test those hundred of scenarios it may be possible among the 50 to 60 scenarios i can just test from the rest assured itself okay all right so api testing test the logic tier directly and check expected functionality so which i have told you that we can check the functionality and beside the functionality it can also check the reliability performance and security so all these things can be done through the api testing okay in gui testing we send the input via keyboard text button click and all those things and these apis are generally rest apis or the soap web services so basically we divide our apis in two categories one is rest and one is soap okay so normally you will hear these terms whenever you're talking about the api so so basically is you know is only in xml format we whatever data we give it's an xml format and for the rest we the format can be xml or it can be json so different technologies which are involved in soap and uh, rest which make them which make them different in the next few questions you know i will tell you what is the main difference between them because the specific questions are there which, which are the difference uh, for the difference between the rest and the soap okay 
All right, so what is the difference between API and the web service? So this is like one of the questions which is asked in almost all the interviews with API, which I have, you know, I know. So it says that all the web services are API, but all, not all the APIs of are the web services. Okay, all the web services need to be exported over HTTP. So with the term when we say web services, so what it do that web services is something which we create on the on the network. Okay, and in that services we put some APIs. So all the web services are the APIs, but not all the APIs are web services. Let's say you have created a calculator class and you have provided a calculator jar and there are some particular parameters through which you can access those jar, jar classes and objects. So these are all called the APIs also, but these are not on the internet. These are not on the network. These are your internal APIs which you can use. Okay, but mostly when you are calling the APIs on the web, which are, you know, uh, uh, which is built on the web services for example you can uh, call the twitter api you can call youtube api so all these are the web services api okay all right so i think uh, the other lines say the same thing so we will just go further what are some architectural style for creating a web API? So there are many architectural style, you know, through which an API can be created. One is that uh, we have, you know, it is based on HTTP for client server communication and it can accept uh, language like XML or JSON for communication and it can have some URI and it can have a stateless communication also. Okay. Who can use a web API? So web API can be consumed by any client. So See, if the Twitter API has been created, uh, so it can be consumed by any any client. If Google Maps API has been created, they have exposed it for everyone. So it can be consumed by any application. I can integrate that Google API, Google Maps API with my app. I can integrate it with my website or I can integrate with other, other tools also. So I can integrate all these APIs if I am, you know, working on those kinds of clients. Okay, but the thing is they should support HTTP. All right, and uh, there are different methods like I'll get, put, delete and post which we can use to call the API. Okay. All right, so let's go forward and uh, okay, what are the advantages of API testing? Okay, so API has many advantages over as compared to the GUI testing. Test for the core functionality. All right so we can test the functionality of the application through the api also we don't have to wait the, for the gui to get developed from the developer team and that's an advantage time effective see api testing is very fast if you run any api uh, program it is very fast it is not slow as uh, testing on the gui side so it is very effective and as i said that you know we don't have to wait for the gui to be developed for that okay language independent yes so very i think it is one of the advantage i have shown you that there can be different languages uh, on each of the component here all right but api allow us to communicate between those components also even if they are using a different languages because basically api are using json or xml format for communication okay easy integration with gui so i have seen some of the scenarios what happened that let's say i have to log in right so i have to log in with the some user ID and password but there are some scenarios which say that first you have to register yourself and then you have to log in and then see the expected result because when you are logging for the first time there can be a different workflow which uh, can run in the background which you never know okay so in these kinds of scenario we have to register the user first and then we have to log in so we can integrate that with GUI what we can do for registration purpose we can call the API testing because that's not our main testing that's not where I want to check the UI my UI why I want to check at the login so I will do the integration testing with the registration and I will do the UI testing with the uh, login so I can mix those two in one test case all right some common protocols used in API testing so the protocols which are used in API testing is rest which some of you already know HTTP SOAP and other are UDDI and JMS okay so these are all the protocols what are the oh, what are the common API testing type? 
okay so what are the testing type of the api see api can be done for validation we can validate through request and response we can obviously do functional testing we can know if my functions are working correctly or not we can know the functionality of our application it can be used for load testing also yes so there are some tools through which we can do the load testing and we can you know give a request and response and through that we can increase the threads on the basis of that we can give 100 response or 1000 uh, we can send 1000 requests at the same time and receive 1000 response so we can do a load testing also we can even you know check some kind of error through the api we can, even without the ui we can do some security testing some pen testing which we also call penetration testing and first testing and interoperability testing in the api testing okay what are the tools so i think we already know some of the tools uh, in my videos also i have shown you how to use a postman but there are some other tools also so there are a list of the tools which you can go through like like Ketlon, which is nowadays very famous tool soap ui which is always a famous tool for uh, testing okay so these are all the other tools apg apg is also one of the tool jmeter is a java based open source tool okay for mainly for load testing and performance testing so here also we can test the api rest assured which i have seen you in my which you can see in my videos i'm using rest assured in java so that uh, we can interact okay karate and hpqtp yes this is also the tool which can do the api testing okay so these are there are many many lists so you can just you know remember some important one and uh, if you are able to remember all those you can just go through the list okay all right what are the difference between the api testing and ui testing so of course we know that api enables the communication between two different softwares right we can we can do uh, testing even without having a gui all right but on the ui testing we should have a graphical user interface to interact right otherwise we will not be able to test so that's the main difference okay so for now i am just leaving it up to question 10 we will go through some more videos maybe there are three to four videos for more for that so just stay tuned i will post some more videos on this question which can help you in your journey with the api testing all right thank you and have a great day